Morning. We're just having fun. If you take stuff too serious, this channel may not be for you, buddy. Man, oh man, me and Slick Fitty is back at it again. And this week, guys, this is my easy, easy week. Uh, what that means is with us doing holiday stuff, I always, I want to get y'all video so we've opted to go out to the dnh classics today hey come to find out apparently slick's supposed to pick up a car from there uh, so that just kind of works out he's got a crush pile or cars that are going in a crush pile so he's slashing prices and making deals on those things so he said you might want to come have a look see and we'll just see you know they're always getting new inventory there's a 63 uh, x-frame car i don't know if it's impala bel air or uh, Biscayne, whatever, that I'd like to look at. We ain't gonna buy it because it's probably too pricey for us, but still, I wanna check her out. So anyhow, uh, yeah, speaking of X-Frames, look what we just yanked off the trailer. That damn tow roll is a trooper because it took everything it had with these all being locked up and on flaps. Man, Slick, we were <laughs> yanking, we were tugging, straps, chains, everything was snapping. We might've ripped all the tow points off of the tow roll. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the tow roll has no tow points. <laughs> yeah. But, guess who was persistent, and guess who, who succeeded in victory? We did. Having a moss-covered turd on flats in front of your shop, that's victory. Anyhow, we ain't here to mess with old Parkwood, even though she looks damn good. Uh, me and Slick, we're gonna gather us up a junkyard working kit. We may, we may take some stuff and we may take a jump pack. We may have to see if something wants to bust off. Who knows? Uh, we're just gonna go have a day of fun like we like to do. Uh, merchandise stuff should be closed down right now. We closed down for the last couple of weeks there, so I appreciate the support. Y'all be ready for first-ish of January-ish. We're gonna open up uh, some restock, maybe some new releases, some some stuff fresh off the press. We're gonna we're gonna strap up, take quite a bit of power tools, slice and dice impact. Sawzall, good call there, Slick. You never know. Do drill bits. <laughs> <laughs> just, just in case, you never know. Drill bits. There oh, you go. One, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> there's one. There, there's quarter inch to one inch. <laughs> <laughs> All bases covered. <laughs> we may want some sawzall blades. These are for the metal. We may want the ones for the wood. Last time I went out there during Christmas time, I went bushcrafting. We may have to build a tiki hut. If there's a Christmas tree out there, we'll cut that sucker down. <laughs> <laughs> Luby dooby. Check. Hammer? Yeah. Yeah, might as well hit it with your purse. <laughs> Hammer. Hammer. <laughs> Maybe one for tight to fit places. <laughs> mm, just in case. Also just in case. If that won't get it, we don't need it. Just a nice light, small amount of tools is all you need for a trip like this guys we are loaded up grab some water extra little battery action we're gonna go grab us some snack and some fuel and we're gonna head that way well we just pulled up slicks first time at dnh and i'm gonna call Debs right now i got Debs on the two door right there with the yellow roof oh yeah i see a couple new things already guys Dang! Anyone need a street sweeper named Big Sandy? What in the fancy? He's then moved uptown on us. Look at all these nice rigs here. Oh, hey, what's up with that old service bed pickup? We could use one of them. All right, guys, we're gonna get started now. Y'all see that? Y'all see that big loader back there? They've been doing a little cleaning up and moving around, so she looks a little different since I've been out here last time. Uh, but we're gonna do a little walking around and looking. 
just to see what is new, what's been moved. Uh, Orange X, what'd you call that? The mark of death. Mark of death. Yeah, he said if it's got an Orange X, it's getting crushed. She's a good old F-250 right there. She's about to go for a ride in the crush, crusher. Uh, hey, look at this Bronco, though. She's got the yellow, goldish, orangish panels with the pinstripes in there. That baby is sweet. Did y'all see that Ford doing the burnout on Instagrammer and the tire popped in the back and it, the, yeah. the bed plum exploded? Uh, it kind of had this look going on. So who knows these things real well? Is this factory then? It does, it, on the other side it says Bronco Custom uh, with the emblem, but let's pop the hood on her, see what she's working with. Mm -hmm. Got the old weed valve covers, what a deal. Yep. Or she y got the chrome topper with the Y-in. What we got, a little air horn? Oh, yeah. oh Dixie horn, guaranteed. <laughs> Good old Dura Spark box hiding over there next to the green bean can. Hey! <laughs> Apparently we've been having some little will it run action going on. Mac tools? Yeah, that's, a, that's an expensive unit. Yeah, go get my cheap one. We'll swap them out. They won't even <laughs> <I> know. know. <laughs> Found us a battery if we need one. I don't know if that's five sixteenths. All I'm saying is this old diamond plate front bumper uh, winch ready accessory is all there can't get her to start with a bad ground she sure is a custom this right here's the door model door now inside you know we got a tack right there and a cb radio oh, what's that say over there mooned besides some custom speakers in the rear uh she's pretty well empty i don't know if this one's for sale but guys these these guys, they, they ship parts, they'll pull parts, they cut quarters off a vehicle, strap it to a pallet, send it to you. So their contact information will be in the description of this video. Uh, no, I can't ask them for you. Every time I did a junkyard video, I got 1,000 people wanting me to middleman parts, and guys, that just ain't possible. We're gonna body swap a 61 wagon or what? <laughs> <laughs> They've been buying up these patrol cars. Uh, now this one, came from the same place our 59 International came from. That's right, Mr. Mercer also owned this car here. She is a 63 Bel Air, got the white roof with the gold paint, and damn, is that a good looking color combo right there. Color match dealies. Of course, if we had the factory caps all the way around, that'd look real good. Underneath here, looks like we got a small block Chevrolet with the custom 10 horn fan shroud that came on these cars. Wonder if she's locked up, Slick. Yep. Squeeze in here. Ooh. Got the two-piece lower radiator hose. No, oh, she spun easy. Better be careful. She may bust off. Hey, looky there. We got our old bottle jug. Hell, we may have a runner sitting right here. Hell, I may not get out of here. <laughs> oh, actually... Let me back her up and we'll check out this side. This side, we got some trim, we got caps, and we got a cap. Surely, surely they've got the other cap somewhere. Don't say we're just missing one. Uh, interior, yeah, the, well, the rat's got it too. Y'all see that, Matt, with the diamonds? Ain't that the international diamonds? Mr. Mercer gave away my mat in here. That 59 International had five and a half like 50 gallon bags of rat's nest i took out of it so no surprise this one has some in there too this car's in really good shape she looks like a builder a little rust up there which is expected on these and then this quarter could use a little lining out but i know it looks rough but that could be fixed and everything fairly easy definitely buff for sure oh she'd buff yeah she gonna need more than the old wrist wrist scrub if I was a betting man, I'd say the floors are probably going to need a little bit of work. This thing just as it is, cleaned up, buffed out, slammed down, and or a black stilly with a wide white with a factory caps with her on air ride would look good too. We don't need it. We don't need it. We don't need it. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> but do you want it? Well, <laughs> I want a lot of stuff in life, Slick. 
Even the back of the old girl looks pretty good. Looks like right here our four doors are having a rendezvous. We got the pinstripe stillies with the beauty rings set in there. Come across, oh, that's why they parked this one. Guarantee you, she quit running on them. It's like that old Ford light on that Chevrolet and she was plum pissed. Wow, look at them beauty rings. Yeah, beauty no, the red beauty rings with the pinstriped. Yeah. yeah, pretty fancy. Yeah. I'm guessing this also came from Mr. Mercer's where the uh, rats are the size of beavers and they also move more wood than beavers look at the old uh knob on the steering wheel there what do we got up there on the dash boy what in the world we got there he's missing a leg i guarantee y'all it smells like rat piss in that thing custom pot pond installed on top this thing holds more water than the pond at my house how's that for a hitch guys she just clamps on she's ready for a 20 footer she's adjustable <laughs> yeah hey look at her straight six here she's got fresh looking carburetor on her carburetor machine does not look old at all she's got a tag after that 58 we're, we're gonna take a break from straight sixes for a minute <laughs> is that not how y'all transport body panels First, you want to find you a Putin's Fab Shop Blue Scout. Then you just load that sucker down. Head to your local Lowe's. Or I don't know who sells Husky. I think those are Husky. If not, they're the... Whatever. A ton of ratchet straps is what you need. And then you too can be transporting body panels by the dozen. I'm trying to see what all we got in here, but can't quite tell what we got in here. Oop, found an ice chest or something. Gotta look underneath the cornflakes if you want to find the good stuff. Well, I don't know, but he's got this thing loaded down. Mm -mm. That's not an ice chest. It's a quick oil changer. Quick oil changer. What the? Oh, baby. Let me turn it on. <laughs> Hell, I seen that and just thought it was an ice chest. Hitch on the scale ain't much better than the old Chibi. Come around out front over here and we got another international. And we got some mismatch shit diggers going on but we got the old wagon wheels uh, that always look good them old good years and you know we got to have that plaid interior what a rig look at that back seat man that thing looks awesome dang she got the uh dual exhaust tips with the elephant gun or like the blunderbuss them pirates use with the flare end on it right there she may be a runner don't fall in love, Slick. She's got the suicide hood like the Chevy Love. Hey, she's got blue valve covers on her and enough room you can do all your bell housing bolts right there. Got the flex fan with the extendo kit. Two tiny belts is better than one big one, they say. She's air conditioned. She's power brakes. She's fancy. <laughs> and she's free. I'm guessing we're going to have some crushing going on this way. Some of this stuff kind of looks rough. That truck's still just chilling. Boy, could that thing look sweet with the chassis underneath her. We don't need any more patina rigs right now, guys. I've got quite a bit of them. Actually, that 58 Apache we just worked on, I was telling Slick, I feel like that thing was like a, a pivotal. It's a, a pivotal moment in my life, guys, because for the first time ever, after looking at that truck all cleaned up, I told Slick, I kind of want something nice. And it was like a, are you kidding me moment? And yeah, we're gonna have to get something fairly nice, guys. That don't mean we're painting diddly though. We're gonna find something <laughs> kind of nice like that one, I guess. She's a little rough. She's a little rougher than that one you rip around in. Yeah, she's a, yeah, she's a little uh, newer too. Yeah, custom rusted frame down there. That Cadillac sitting sideways. I've shown y'all this thing before. I know we've seen this before. Looks like we might have a couple more parts rigs in. I need to cut the old RS out in half. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dang, we ain't crushing no damn Nissan hard body. No says I, she's two-tone with Tina. She's practically brand new. Better hit up old Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> Our buddy T Nasty is going to be calling on this one. I guarantee it. For sure. We got some wheel seals in the glove box over there. We've got the carb collection on the old hood of the Cadillac here. 
good convertible rig. R.I.P. to the R.S. <laughs> oh yeah, there she is, the little prince. We ought to buy this thing back and uh, take that Suzuki Samurai we bought and combine the two. Just plain, ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> Not the cut, dog. Oh yeah. <laughs> Upside down. That Cuddy's had better days, buddy. Boy, this Volvo, it's in a new spot every time I come out here. <laughs> Keep moving around? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe if we move it a couple times, someone will want it. Yeah. Now, ain't nobody surprised. Someone was hitting them old tall necks in here. Yeah, this thing looks like it's done a couple burnouts after people slamming some tall boys in its day. <laughs> we got a whole good front end right here. That's what we put underneath the travel all. What if... I wonder what rear ends in this one if she's got the G80 that everyone wants. The old G80 ticking time bomb. G80 right there. I like their uh, use of red electrical tape. Hey, Custom. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> Some of them have been watching the Fast and the Furious and got their electrical tape out. Gave her a go. Look at that Sparco steering wheel. Monica! <laughs> <laughs> Someone better get them old G80 rear end before she's crushed to death. What we got here the Buick Invicta or whatever you call that. Like a 59-ish. Now these things got some cool crazy lines to them. Look at that wild looking front end. She looks sinister, mean, and angry. Brings it to that good looking rear end too, guys. I've always liked these cars. I think they look pretty dang good. 61 wagon gang gang right here luckily ours is in a little bit better shape than uh this one she don't have the trim package so it ain't gonna have the one piece of trim that ours happens to be missing got some issues it's never a good sign when you can see the inner structure yeah <laughs> yeah that old girl is rough she's in sad shape Look how cool that battery is that is a cool battery She's the old motor king. I'm the damn mini truck king, apparently. Oh yeah, this car has the generator that hooks to the mini turbo back there, aka the water pump. This is not an engine you want to break a spark plug off in, I guarantee you that. This came from where the Yeehaw was sitting, where I got the Yeehaw from. That's where this came from. And is there anything else back here? I don't think I've seen this thing yet, but I also don't know we're missing a whole lot if we don't see it. <laughs> She looks like she's ready for a demolition derby. Maybe one day we'll have to get some demolition up in this situation. Me and you versus Mortsky and Duff. Oh, he don't want none. Hey, does anyone recognize this old girl? You dang right. What a looker. Boy, I knew he was going to have something good looking out here. <laughs> <laughs> I just got where it was from now. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what's he talking about? This come from a... Uh, my new place. This is the one that was sitting there that I said, I will give y'all that thing if you'll just come get it off there. Now she's got the X of death on her and look, she's even got the fancy mag wheels. That's pretty cool. Dang, someone ran a ha half a marathon. You run half a marathon, you deserve a damn medal because I ain't running that far. Sombrero style hubcap. Yep. If you look at the front end of this Packard, it makes that Apache long bed not seem so long. Holy hood. Yeah. She's got a straight 16. She's so long. Holy cow. Yep. She got the straight eight in her. She is all there. Uh, what the heck's that over there? Used to have a battery in her the length of the engine. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, this thing looks like it would be no fun to work on. Hey, we'll leave that to Mortsky where he can break the valves. Mmm, <laughs> not seeing too much else over here. Nice little mirror. She is loaded down with the speed performance parts. Got a couple heads. Nice uh, intake manifold that weighs as much as modern day car. Another one of them six lug steelies we needed. Y'all wanna go see something real cool? Let's go check out Big Sandy. You boys better have got a smoking deal on this thing. Ooh, never a good sign. Well, the drive shafts up yeah. in there you know what else is in there <laughs> the keys yeah <laughs> <laughs>
about to do a will it run and drive on old big sandy here <laughs> she's only got thirty-five thousand on her they are uh they're loading up on the internationals this one's got the big old brush guard on the front don't look like she has a drivetrain in her body's not terrible i used to not really be a fan of these but they've kind of grown on me just a little bit it's funny as you get older uh some of your taste on things change that's also what me and slick were talking about i was like for some reason i kind of want something nice now and he's like i think you're just getting older buddy <laughs> <laughs> what is it that's motorcycle and then uh, holy purple rain <laughs> <laughs> Got that custom raked neck and fork. Yeah, that thing actually looks pretty damn cool. Got us another Buick here. She's in slightly rougher shape than our other one was over there. And speaking of another, there's another 63 four door right there. Hey, there's that missing cap for the gold one in the front seat of this one. Oh, except she's fancy because this one we got an Impala, so she's going to have the three tail lights there. Oh, look at that air conditioning unit. That's pretty cool. Turn that sucker to one, two, or three. Yeah, body on this one ain't terrible neither. Yep, she's there. And just like everything else, a slight rat problem going on. Now this Nash has one of them six foot front ends on it too. It looks like it also has a straight eight down in her. Look how that just clamps on there. That's crazy. Got a pimp daddy Cadillac. Then we're gonna have us a, what, 61 right here and she's the best game fairly rough shape uh, of course come next door and you got the 64 impala four door a little rust on this one but she is the right color because uh that kind of goldish color that come on the 64s yeah let's just say it does it for me in fact, I, I inquired about what kind of shape this car was in because I know someone with a 64 uh, gold wagon, but I don't really know what that wagon needs uh, compared to what this has, I guess. She's also air conditioning car I can see. And oh yeah, that one's got a real fresh uh, rat's nest up on her. Dang, I guess now we're in old caddy corner. For you old bicycle guys, there's y'all a frame right there dang then we got the pink cadillac watch out right next to the mint seafoam greenish cadillac she's the old 60 special apparently i don't know what's special about her she does have all the different trims you could dream of i guess on her boy and one wild looking dash over there but once you make it past old cadillac corner you're back in the damn international valley man they've been buying these things up boom bang bang boom and they just keep going here uh looks like most of these have been picked over pretty good for parts so i'm assuming they do pretty good selling parts off of these hey that one's got the skinny uh tall tires on a black stilly i like that look right there she came out of tejas so that explains that custom one by one tube and bumper she looks good texas y'all's doing good there hey don't forget the hitch on the front you know you need to move that empty trailer around the yard international is killing it with them plaid seats hey carburetor on this one don't look terrible she's even got some oh well she is last rebuilt in 82 <laughs> look looks aren't everything she's locked up tight come over here we got the custom big bird yellow interior man wagon wheels were popular on these things weren't they and then a couple more hey that one has some sweet graphics on her and also had some sweet seats in her now we're getting to more my style uh i don't hate the scouts or anything but i don't know i just like them trucks more than the scouts damn it we need this quarter i've got an idea that's been cooking in my head and we need a travel all quarter anyhow or two Hey, check out that sleep, uh, sweet headache crack. You think it's lucky? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we might need to take that home. The old gun wreck. Oh, yeah, that is sweet. That's the only thing that Mr. Mercer's missing. She even had a winch. I just noticed she had a winch. Probably had a, a hay bale spike back here or something. She's just a damned old farm truck. This one skipped the headache rack and went straight for the full-blown full, full blown camper. 
Come next door, we got another gun rack in this one. Two out of four international owners were ready to shoot your ass. Ask this one right here, he found out. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even care about his mission, he shot through it. So we're gonna leave International Valley there and hey, they've cleaned all this out. This was all scattered stuff and they've got some empty space here. Them boys are doing good on the cleanup action. You gonna build a donk? I like, it. nah, lowrider man. Get her some 13 inch spokes and hydraulics. Yep, 13 by seven reverses. We got the old military green shorty. This thing's cool. It's like a vent. Secret satellite dish, sir. Oh. Old Ford's laying bumper. What a ugly Bonneville, holy cow. What in the heck is this? Is it, did someone do that? Did it think it was a limo? What in the world? I ain't never seen one of them before. I don't feel like I was missing much. <laughs> Here's your Corvette chassis. Heck yeah. And they got the Kragers. Mortsky's favorite. Got the old SS's. She's on the performance chassis. And that one over there's got the got the old slap shift in her. We got the G body graveyard. Got the Monte Carlos on Monte Carlos. Some got some Regals. Any cutlasses up in there? Yeah, this one. We got the wagon back there. Hey, I see an international. High performance Corvette chassis. She's got the old T10 sitting in her. White ram horn, sir. They're white. We also got some custom spacing going on there for that old generator or whatever used to be on there. Oh, Chrysler New Yorker is long. And she had a mud gripper in the back. Right on the other side, we got an international. Here's her firing order. 15, 36, 24. Mortsky says 15's too young, 36 is too old, and 24 is just right. But guys, I got to disagree with that one. 36-year-old usually knows what they want in life. 24-year-old still playing games. Uh, anyhow, uh, I'm sticking up for my wife because she's older than me. <laughs> Well, she's got a whammy on the back. I used to not like them, but I've kind of warmed up to them. The little split glass and stuff's kind of cool on them. Do you see that old Pepsi machine up there? Pretty cool. You guys shitting me? <laughs> Come look at it before it makes it to the crush pile. Uh, I believe that already made it to the crush pile, DNH. Uh, yeah, according to my calculations, crushed. What the hell am I supposed to pick off that? We can start with the long bed Chevy, get her off, I guess. What did that Datsun ever do to you guys? Look at her. I would have took the whole thing. After a year of it sitting in my way, I would have sold it to you guys and y'all could have crushed it. But no, let's just, here we are, I guess. You know what? I think we're done here, Slick. Slick, what do we look look for for damn months and months and months and months? Freaking fenders. <laughs> yeah. She may have a dent. She may have rust down there, but in dats in terms, that's a pretty good fender. <laughs> One more back here. Let's see if I can get. Get there, but. Nothing I can't handle. She got a whammy on her. Yeah, ain't no big deal though. Look at all these good stillies just going to waste. Hey, give me some new glasses, oh, buddy. Those are the right prescription? Wrong prescription, I guarantee you that. So me to take that carburetor off for you so you can try to rebuild it. <laughs> <laughs> to then throw it out myself. <laughs> yeah. You had a good run, old girl. This must be where they have all the goodies hid. All the stillies. Dang, old three quarter ton putting in work. <laughs> got the mullet machine on top of her. Whoa, we got some square bodies getting ready for a crushing and a whole stack of Camaros. I think I'm gonna hit him up. I think I'm gonna get this transaxle and Volkswagen if I can. Never know, one day I might have to have another one. <laughs> well, she's got the X on her, so I bet she'll go cheap. 
I'm kind of embarrassed to say this. Don't ask me why, guys, but I've always liked these Volvo wagons. I'm guilty. You can charge me now. Slick. I've seen this truck a couple of times. I'm pretty sure that baby's moss gold, like mine. Yeah. Like the long bed. This one come from the old Bacon Chevrolet in Texas. And apparently the front clips of vans sell really good or something, because, uh, yeah, there's a row of them. It's like that hubcap. It is oh, hubcap. yeah. It matches that one. Yeah. Got some international fenders right there, too. Did we ever hang out when I had my old blazer? Right, I parked that was, it. That was right before, yeah, right before we started <laughs> hanging out. <laughs> so everyone thinks the Datsun was like my first truck, and that's not true. First, I drove a 77 Hilux to high school, and then I ended up with an 84 Blazer, and the Blazer ended up with the roof cut off of it at the end of my senior year. She was a El Permanente convertible. She was a roadster. If you ever got caught in a rainstorm, you just floor it and go as fast as that little 2.8 would take it. Dang, slick. It's one of the Eagle Wagons, the 4x4s. Four-wheel drive, guys. Wagon. It's perfect for tools in the back. I'm curious to see if it could yank better than the Torola. After what we put her through this morning. Not happening? No. I don't know. Imagine front and rear buckling down and yanking. This thing, one of those has to weigh more than a Torola, too. Yeah, that's true. I think about that. Yeah, she uh, was getting drugged by the old <laughs> <It's> <laughs> travel off for a minute. Physics, sir. A four-wheel drive wagon in motion wants to stay in motion. And not only that, it's practically a truck if the back seat pulls down. Exactly. Flick found him a four by four love tailgate. Yeah. Reminds me of something you would have built back in the day. <laughs> Got the old lawnmower suspension on the front. Dang right. Many people probably don't know this, but he probably had one of the fastest lawnmowers in Pot County for a minute. <laughs> the fastest. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, that's old pudding back in the day ripping through town. I got pulled over on that thing like a good three times. When they could catch me. She's got a hitch on her right there. What is that? The old LeSaber? Le hey, there's the tricycle. I was supposed to buy. I see they're pulling parts on or hauling parts with it. I mean, he must be the premier Cadillac to get to park underneath the carport here. <laughs> She's got the primer steel wheels. Those steelies almost look like they're on there backwards. They are. The valve stem faces the right way. What in the cousin kissing steelies going on here? This makes it look backwards, but then that's the right way for your acorn nuts. Obviously, your valve stem's facing, so did they just reverse face? I don't know what's going on here. Now, it may not look like a lot of work, but walking around touring, you will work up an appetite. Now, last time, I went bushcrafting, and we whipped up a stake out in the middle of the woods, and we're not going to get that buck nasty this go around. But we do got to find somewhere we can dig us a little hole. Right next to the roots. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's probably good enough hole. That's good enough to cook a wiener. <laughs> Let me get out of here before you do that. <laughs> it's not that volatile. Key to a successful charcoal fire is a good pre-soak in with your lighter fluid. Like so. We got to talking about my old blazer and I was feeling nostalgic, so we had to come have a wiener roast with one. <laughs> this so happens. Oh. <laughs> And go fishing. Yeah. There's charcoal right there. <laughs> <laughs> There's actually charcoal in there. What the hell? Hell, this thing was ready for a camping trip and a half. Got a minnow bucket and everything. Self cooking, look. Where'd our fire go? She gone. We're gonna sit here and uh, eat like kings. What a lie. Mm -hmm. We're gonna leave two on a slow roast there. There's the old three lug thug right there. That's what happened to it. Oh, 
nuclear <laughs> accident. <laughs> yeah. That's what it looks like hit it. So the old pimp daddy Lincoln uh, no longer has a rear end. What in the world? I moved a couple of our Datsuns down over here. He's having too much fun on that loader. It's like he just rearranged the place because he was bored or something. Yeah. Yeah, she's going to die soon too. Uh, we'll take this. Yeah, this distributor right here, she's got the little matchbox on her. So that's uh, like what we put on the truck. That's a one-wire hookup. Get you electronic ignition. We went up and scavenged us a wrench to bring back here with us. Ratchet, no ratchet. She ain't ratcheting very well here. She ain't the prettiest one I've ever seen, but uh, I guess I just ain't laying on, laying around everywhere, so we'll take it. Yeah. Oh, there she is. Hey, yeah. <laughs> that ain't a bad find there, I guess. Out in the wood, we got a couple more of the creeper vans. Ooh. She's in there. Looks like Volkswagen things to me. Yeah, uh, but it is a dual port. And she's also got a red twist nut and a yellow twist nut, so I like it already. <laughs> you got the, this is a dual port. I said I have one, I got two. Those are the good ones to have. And most of the stuff down in here, I've shown you all the time or two I've been here before. Don't look like we got much else down here. Buried our fire there. Hey, someone better get the billet wheels off the Dodge Dakota. Got them old school billets that are getting popular again. Oh man, is the rain getting... Oh. Looks like it may try to rain on us here, but why not just try to speed around to will it run here? Extreme will it run in the rain? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got a nice short ground right there, I see. Grab our tiny bag of tools. Guessing this ain't gonna have the best connection, so we're at least gonna try to scrape her some and get the best we can get. This is easier when you got your knife you forgot at the damn house. Yeah, she shined up in there a little bit anyhow. Holy cow. That positive runs way back and around. She looks like she's got a good connection too. I heard something turn on inside the cab here. It's the radio. I'm going to tune into some of the oldies here. Hey, key's in her. Uh-oh. <laughs> Got a weak battery or bad connections? Probably bad connections because I just drove this battery to your house. It was low, so. <laughs> she charged her up at 17 volts. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Try again. Probably these cables too. Give me one more. Oh, you smell that starter already? Yeah. Stinky. Hey, she's spinning. We ain't trying to drive the thing on the trailer. We're just curious if we can get her to go at all. Oh. What in the world? Look at that wild looking carburetor. Is that a thermal quad? That's got about 13 square foot on top of it. Oh, well, she ain't stuck. What about her coil wire? Where's she going? Right there. Right here. Go crank on her slick. Let's see if we got some sparkage. She'll zap you. Yep. What I'm saying is we're going to pop that right back on. And then I guess we can send a little gas down her hill. I don't know. Yeah. Which one of you 19 butterflies wants gas down you, huh? <laughs> <laughs> now we stopped on the way and uh, got some get her done 91 in the old t all old travel all we also brought a little squirt jar and a gallon jug for some so let's see what'll happen here that's right Oh, 
Hey, oh, I know where our weak point is real quick. <laughs> Whoa! Hot. She's toasty. <laughs> she needs a better ground, or maybe just that connection right there redone. Just try to fill that sucker up and see what happens. I heard it spray. We're gonna pop her off. Then using the same side cutters, we're gonna give it a little strip job. Maybe if I can get the right cut there. Ah! Hit on the starter. Pop it. Yeah, go baby! Go baby! Go baby! <laughs> Did you ride the dust cloud slick? Yeah, I took one for the team. Yeah, all right. Yeah. I'm you gonna get nothing in my do. Yeah, too late, buddy. I'd pass up. Never mind. He drank it, everyone. He drank it. So here's what we learned real quick. She has uh, rough battery connections. Starter's probably a little iffy because a couple of love taps kind of help motivate that again. But carburetor seems to be working. Uh, after filling up the bowl, a couple little, you know, pushes of the old foot on the accelerator pedal. And up to here, we could hear it spraying. So we knew it was going to get fuel. We knew she was already getting spark. We didn't have to touch nothing there. And boom, she is wanting to try to run. In fact, I believe it ran until it ran out of fuel. Oh yeah. She may not be perfect, all right? I heard a little backfire action. But also the echo tips coming out the old bazooka gun exhaust pipes back here. She sounded like uh yeah, she sounded mean. She sounded ready for the mud bog. She sounded like she needs to come to Puddin's Fab Shop. <laughs> we don't need another one. <laughs> so will she run? Yes, she will. Uh I can't tell you, you know, she's ready to go to the cave mart for the uh rollback or blue light special or whatever they have there, you know. But hey, a runner's a runner. That was almost too easy, slick. Dare I say we look for a challenge? Another? <laughs> <laughs> so I guess we're going to do a will it run on this old girl right here. She's got the cherry interior in her. Oh, baby. She's pretty complete. Yeah. Plug wires chewed through on this one. Uh-uh. Custom hood prop right there, baby. She's got your favorite. Oh, you dang right. Sure, run. Oh, Lord. Here we go with some more good connections. In this case, you want to take your positive and tighten it up so it's hitting the metal fender wheel that's definitely going to be grounded. Right there's our four foot long ground. For sure, going to get caught in the alternator fan. <laughs> <laughs> May take this for a slight index job. Ugh. Get her off that metal fender wheel. Is there keys in this one, Slick? Yes, sir. Guys, that's the secret to successful wheel it runs. You only go to cars that got a 90% chance of running. <laughs> it's got everything you need, including keys, then you try. And if it don't have that, you just move on. Yeah. I'll be surprised if that uh, cooperates. You ready? Yeah. Well, shit the bed. If all else fails, hit her with a pot county screwdriver trick. <laughs> She's cranking good. She's got keys so we can leave the key on. That should get our coil hot. And then we'll check for spark. We'll put her down there. It's got the key on so coil hopefully is hot. And we're going live. No sparky spark. Hey, you just did something. Cause something happened in there. We got a rotor. There's our coil. There's our 
Dura spark box. Oh, he's got some bebop jams going in there. <laughs> How funny is that? Them wires go there. They're plugged in. Yeah, these wires over here, Adolph, buddy. Yeah, there's two wires right there. That one and that one. Does the Dura spark box even need power going to it? And those are kind of chewy down in there. Oh, that's the regulator. I was eyeballing the wrong damn thing over here. Well, good. Maybe we can do a little problem solving here. I think those three wires right there need to be hooked to these three right here. Riddle me this, guys. Yellow wires right there, red's on this side. If you look at the back side, yellow's on this side, red's on this side. There's a little swapperoo in there. Just trying to figure out what we've got to get hooked up because uh, that wire broke off down there, so we're going to have to use a jumper wire. So we're going to hook up our little cheater jumper wire down there on that little nubby. Can y'all hear that? Something's doing something. And we're going to use this as our extendo wire because she's going to be a little short. <laughs> really appreciate them rats chewing all that for us. <laughs> oh, she's sparking. Most ignition systems operate better when half the wires aren't chewed through. We can't go for a bowl fill again. You no, know, I, I have faith in these carburetors. You have, uh, I like them. Definitely influenced me on that. Oh yeah, she's spraying. One side or both? She's good. I just don't think our uh, air fuel ratio to compression and everything else is quite quite happy yet. A runner's a runner. Counts. We had to do a little fix another ignition system anyhow on this one. We brought spark back to her. She did slightly sound like a tugboat or a motorboat whenever we got her fired up. We're going to take that one as a victory too. So I was talking to Slick the other day and I was like, yeah, I may have to go out to D&H and just kind of scrap together a video. You know, just a little something. He was like, oh, that's good. I've actually got a car I'm supposed to pick up out there. We'll just grab it too. <laughs> I was unaware. Now, funny story on this car. It's actually been at my house before because when D&H bought it, they're buying all kinds of stuff down the road and he asked if he could just store it there for a week or so. And then it came here. I guess the rear end at one point was gonna be sold out of it. Yeah, he, the guy thought it was an eight or nine inch and it's an eight inch. Oh yeah. So, Well, so there's a rear end for it. And I guess we gotta get it back underneath there, which looks like a ton of fun. And then we gotta get her on the trailer. Is your name Slick? Did you order the Uber? <laughs> I bet that's a little faster than the winch is. Let's see what we're working with. Dang, it's pretty clean. Check this side real quick. Keep coming. Keep coming. Right there, now I go up. There we go. fresh on it you know just start on a car that counts with no depth perception i was nervous my butt almost put <laughs> it's like one it's not my equipment so if we tear it up that's on me two that ain't my car so if i tear it up that's on me three at least i got to drive the thing it was fun <laughs> what a rig well guys we might have forgot they're in so he's gonna go grab it real quick with the loader so we ain't gotta huff it all the way over here Found these wood blocks over there. Should work perfect for 
getting it up off the ground so we can at least get their end under it. Oh, will it roll? Oh, perfection. So this goes here. Yeah. That goes like so. Damn. Here, I'm gonna throw this over there. We grab it. Car. This car's on period. It's got a maxi pad. <laughs> <laughs> it is a Ford. <laughs> Ready? Yep. Gotta be close. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, we're off the ground. I don't know if we'll be able to get plates underneath there to get U bolts going. I'm going for a U bolt check. That they were a little wide, but slick grab too. Oh, shit, talky. Those are short. Those are wide. <laughs> we need an in between. Good thing we brought a hammer, I reckon. One more. Hey, more. Close same. enough. Yeah, it's the same. Pulled the shocks off this thing. Just undid the three bolts that was up there. Bolts don't even fit. Slick. If it does go through there, it's gonna be tight, buddy. Good news is we brought some drill bits. Bad news is no drill. Yeah. That's what we're after right there. We're having to make do with what we got, guys. So we had to pull them pads off because we can't get the mu bolt started with that. Each one of them about ran out of threads down there. But that'll definitely be good enough to get her on a trailer. Oh, yep. Little, little mouse house. She's still got air in there. We went looking for wheels and tires. <laughs> Guess Slick found them at old Firestone Destination, baby. We'll hop over this unit. <laughs> clearing's clearing. have mercy we got her on the trailer we're gonna get her strapped down that took longer than either one of us expected we were gonna do a passerby segment on this thing but as you can tell uh i think slick will take it yep. we're gonna look around over here some before uh we run out of daylight i've been wanting to check out their uh little shop truck here they had a uh, mick who's a pinstriper here in oklahoma full letter this thing up and man does that look good couple pinstripes on the back to go with that old custom hitch of theirs hey she's hooked up to the off-road overland trailer here uh, they just took this thing camping doing some lettered up fenders and a logo and stuff on the door uh, i've kind of been thinking about doing this to the old 59 international dang got that fancy seat in there too <laughs> it's like ripped apart right here. what in the jeep things is going on here She'll eat anything. She's got a set of chompers and a half on her. I don't think that frame rail is very true anymore. Got a bumper and a half on her too. Got another international here. Oh yeah, you can see old STP sticker right there. She, she had a case of the runs. <laughs> I did too earlier after them hot dogs settled. <laughs> I was hoping I had a fender, but it seems like all of them come with the spare. Dang, I thought my drums had problems. Uh, Look at that, guys. Is this what's been over here clanging? Yeah. I thought somebody was over here. I thought somebody was over here. I thought I was going to have to whip somebody. Yeah. Call this foot D, this one H, because this ass whipping is about to be a classic. <laughs> <laughs> Got to keep the Continental kit with the stripes on the trunk, you know, or straps, not stripes. Y'all yeah. already know what I'm working my way over here to take a gander at again. I see he's been clearing me a path so we can get to it. Slick, you need some fancy wheels for your car you just bought? <laughs> I don't want to go that route or not. 
the hell you mean you don't want these? They're finned to disperse heat for maximum performance. This thing needs to be in the yeehaw so bad I can't stand it. Let's do an episode of Passerby. Right here we got the old Thunder Chicken. She has a turbo on her that come from the factory. She'd probably go good in the yeehaw. Pass her by. Bye. That's all we need on that episode. Uh, that's a decision made. I had a chicken rig uh, rear end into that thing too to get it on the trailer I remember now. Wasn't it, was it at Willie's? Yeah. yeah. I wish I'd never sold that Datsun wagon we had, but I had to at the time. This one's too rusty and too rough for what I want. Look at the center caps on that sucker. Little bit of rust along the bottom. Then you come back here and it looks like the rust just maybe hiding underneath the paint. Oh yeah, she don't get any better on this side. The more you look, the not so better she gets. But it is what it is. So it? If you need a suburban, four wheel drive. Oh Lord, everyone calling them Chev. There you go. Nice Chev. It's a Chevy, damn it. <laughs> yeah, she's got slots front and back here. What about the other side? What's the chances we got full set? Full set all the way around. Wouldn't have guessed it. You know she's a keeper in a good car when she's got the red ground cable, so that's a good sign. Got this old Ford over here laying body too. And I know a lot of these cars guys I've already shown y'all. And we are partner out of time, so I think for this video we're going to call it a wrap. So I appreciate y'all watching. We had fun out here. Guys, I, I like laying out here in the dirt and the rocks, you know, whatever. Maybe not the mud. Y'all see we drug her out the mud. Uh, but getting to work on a car, load a car couple quick speedball will it runs it's always fun to see what's going to bust off and what don't and of course it's always fun to look at junk uh, now whether it's all new junk or some we've seen before you always catch something new that catches your eye how many times did i say catch quite a few i caught that so that's it i hope y'all had a good christmas appreciate y'all watching once again i'm on the instagram or the patreon uh like i said first ish of january be looking for some merchandise on the website we're going to restock some drop some new stuff and i reckon that's it but don't forget sitting on your ass won't finish your project